Siobhan Ingram, welcome to Dean's Kitchen where today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make a really delicious festive fudge, um, a really nice Christmassy fudge recipe uh, containing shortbread, cranberries and white chocolate. So lots of really delicious things um, going on there. So very easy. I'm not a great fudge maker, I have to say, but this recipe is very, very simple. So if I can make it, you can definitely make it. Um, and you'll see as I demonstrate just how easy it is. Um, very simple. Right, so we're starting off with a nice solid pan. You need a, a good pan with a nice heavy strong base to it, okay? And our butter is already melting in the pan here. So into this I'm now going to add some caster sugar and give that a stir around. And then also into the pan I'm now going to add a small tin of evaporated milk. So I've got that ready here so you just pop that in as well. Now this is the crucial part and this is the bit that you know impatient cooks like me sometimes go wrong with but what you've got to do now is be quite patient and just keep this on a very low heat because what you have to do is make sure that the sugar is completely dissolved before you allow it to come to the boil and the reason you have to do that is because if you don't, if you boil it before the sugar has had a chance to dissolve properly, you'll end up with some gritty, slightly unpleasant fudge, um, not smooth and velvety like it's supposed to be. So very careful, low heat, stand with it, don't go off and do anything else, just stay with it and once the sugar has dissolved, then bring it to the boil, okay? Okay, so over a moderate heat, we've now brought this to the boil, sugar is completely dissolved and once it starts to boil, turn the heat down and leave it to simmer for five minutes. So our butter and sugar and evaporated milk has now been boiled, simmered. Um, for about five minutes, okay, and um, it's ready for the next stage. Now it changes colour very slightly, it'll go a little bit darker, it's quite frothy when it's simmering away, um, and as I say, a little bit darker, slightly caramel in colour, and that's it ready for the next uh, the next stage. But yeah, five minutes simmering um, is fine. If you do that, that's you can't go wrong, it's absolutely fine. Right, so what we're going to add in is all of this lovely white chocolate, quite a lot, as you can see. So we'll add that in while it's still really nice and hot, because we need this to melt. And this starts to thicken it up a little bit, so just stir it round in the very, very hot pan and it shouldn't take too long to melt down. It's not low calorie, as you might have guessed. <laughs> okay, so keep mixing until you get the chocolate melted. And then next into the pan, we're going to add chopped cranberries, nice and Christmassy, and also some chopped up Dean's shortbread. So if you've got a packet of shortbread in the cupboard and you've got a few pieces spare, this is a great way to, to use it up. So that's the, the white chocolate mixed in. So cranberries, first of all, pop them in like so. And our little pieces of shortbread, just break them up into little chunks because they break up a bit more once you stir them into the, into the fudge mixture. And then once you've got everything coated, you then transfer it into a lined tin. Let me just show you the lined tin that we've got here. Just a little square baking tin lined with par baking parchment, which just makes the job of getting it out of the tin a lot easier. So shift this onto here and then all you do is just spoon this into the tray, like so. smells gorgeous. So I can highly recommend this for uh, a nice Christmas gift so you can wrap it in nice Christmassy bags with ribbon or boxes and make a nice homemade gift out of it or just make a batch for yourself to serve with coffee um, after your Christmas dinner. Nice little sweet treat. So just take a bit of time to flatten it down like so. And once it's nice and flattened, pop it in the fridge and just let it completely set and chill 
and then we'll bring it back out and chop it up ready to serve. So our fudge is now ready to serve. It's been in the fridge for a few hours, so it's nice and cold, completely set. So I've tipped it out onto a chopping board, removed the baking parchment and chopped it up with a nice sharp knife into nice small squares. It's very rich, as you saw, lots of white chocolate and sugar and shortbread in there. So uh, it's rich, so a little bit um, is all that you need. So perfect idea for a homemade Christmas gift. So if you want to make some for Christmas to give away to people in little festive bags or boxes, that's a great idea or make some for yourself uh, to serve with your after dinner coffee during the Christmas period. Um, just a quick recap on the recipe, it's a very simple fudge recipe containing white chocolate, cranberries and Dean's shortbread. So I hope you have a lovely Christmas and that you get time to try it out. If you have got a, a lovely tin of Dean's shortbread for Christmas, keep a few pieces back and try the recipe for yourself. Um, I hope it goes well and if you do get around to trying it, remember to take a photograph share it with us on Facebook and um, send us photos as well. I always like to see how you, how you get on with the recipes and what you think of them. Thanks for watching.